Coastal versus Dr. Angela Yu, who has the best web development bootcamp. We are going to find out today. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are currently learning how to code or if you wanted to learn more about web development, this might be the perfect channel for you. Maybe consider subscribing. Let's pull up the computer over here so you can actually see the comparison. So let's compare these two courses side by side. So let's take a look at both of these courses, right? They are both super popular. As you can see, has really high rating and they are all both very recently updated. The last update that he made was back in December in 2020. And in comparison to Angela Yu's coding bootcamp, it was also very recent. And then they're both super popular on Udemy and has really high rating with a lot of students enroll. The second thing that I would take a look at these two courses is their price. Now I've purchased Cold Steel's web development bootcamp back in 2000. 18 and he's been constantly updating new materials and also enhancing this course and make this course really up to date i wouldn't purchase at a hundred dollar price not that i don't think it's worth it but i've always seen the course go down to around 15 dollars or even less than that so let's actually dive deeper into the materials of both of these courses so let's look at cole steels in his course content he has been updated with a introduction to web development and i really like how he walks through about the basics of the basics even before you start diving into html css and javascript he talks about how internet works how web works even diving into front end versus back end, what do HTML, CSS, and JavaScript do? I thought those are very good introduction sections, and he breaks down to every five minutes to walk you through these mini lectures, and I think that is awesome. In comparison to that, I think Angela Yu also does the same thing. How does internet works? How does website works? And how do you get help when you get stuck? And I think these are also very important sections. Now, the second thing that I am looking into is the basic fundamentals about web development, which is HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. In Coastal's course, when he was looking into HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, if you dive deeper into his content, you'll see at least three hours, almost four hours, we're talking about HTML. And I like the fact that he actually dive deep into talking about forms and tables and forms validations for html i think it's very important i think that angela also spent two hours talking about html and she definitely knows the priorities about html she talks about forms as you can see over here and she talks about how do you actually create forms and she has like small exercise that you can actually practice. So let's take a look at CSS. So for CSS, um, they both talk about CSS concepts, which is the selectors and the specificity of CSS. And I think that is really helpful for coding newbies to really understand the concept of that. And it also dives into responsive CSS and Flexbox. And I think as a web developer, this is a very important concept to grasp, and it will definitely help you a lot when you are creating websites and when you are creating web applications. Angela, you also talked about CSS, like the concepts of it, and she also talks about the um, font styling and also um, typography. and she also created different challenges that you can do they both also talked about um, styling frameworks like bootstrap it's a great idea to learn about css frameworks and it will help you a lot when you are trying to build your own websites or when you're trying to build your personal project okay so let's get into javascript both of them are talking a lot about the javascript basics it's important to understand javascript concepts Coastal added the newer JavaScript features into the course. I think that in the past, he didn't really talk about the most updated version of ES.js. In comparison to Angel Laryu, she really just starts teaching you the newer syntax about JavaScript. 
and she also dives into talking about the intermediate about JavaScript, and she gives a lot of different challenges on that from a newer coding newbie's perspective. I think that it might help coding newbies to understand a little bit better about JavaScript, and I think that. Coastal does have a very in-depth about JavaScript, but I think it can also get a little bit confusing for coding newbies to really understand JavaScript. Now, the caveat of her course is that she still has jQuery. jQuery is a framework that helps you to code in JavaScript without using vanilla JavaScript, which is JavaScript on the DOM. And I'm sure that she explained a little bit more about what jQuery is and why it was relevant in the past and not so popular nowadays. And for Coe still, I don't think that he still has that sections anymore. He completely removes that. Nowadays, people don't use jQuery as often and as relevant as it used to be back in the days. <laughs> I talk as if it was back in like, I don't know, Back in the ages of time, that's not true. It's like two, three years ago, maybe. So <laughs> that's how web development really, really, really evolved so fast. You can see that. And I think that when we are getting into the backend side of things, you have to talk about Node.js and you have to kind of talk about Gig version control system. And I like the fact that Angela Yu is emphasizing the fact that. What is important, you know? She really understand. It's important to understand Gig Version Control System as a developer, and it's also very important to understand API. So she did a really good job of walking you through that. He also dive into a little bit about that. So that was very helpful, and he has a huge project called Yapcam that I know a lot of people use that, and I'm going to say it's a great project to follow through. But what? I do think it's important is that you do need to build your personal project that is outside of what these courses are offering you. Like you have to build your own project to be able to stand out. Imagine all these people are taking these courses, right? So they all have Yapcam. You need to stand out. You need to find new projects to build and new ideas to build, not just the projects we got from the tutorial. When it comes to choosing a framework, I was surprised to find that Coastal does not even have a framework in his course, and I think that is the only thing that I don't think that I've seen on Coastal's web development bootcamp. I like the fact that she talks really deep into React. It's about eight hours talking about this framework, and it was very up to date. I can see that she talks about. The React components and also how do you use JavaScript ES6 to use React, and she also talks about React hooks, which is the most updated version about how everyone else is using React nowadays. Okay, so after we've comparing both of them side by side, what is my thought and what is the takeaway for Coastal's web development bootcamp course? I think. It's very in depth about knowing HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Knowing these concepts, it's like someone who's learning how to balance. So once you learn how to balance, you can easily learn how to ride a bike. And I think that is very important as becoming a really good front end developer or even a web developer. And I think that Angela's course is indeed the complete web development coding bootcamp. If you are currently looking for a course where it's basically teaching you everything you need to know as a full stack developer, including React as the framework, this is the course that you need from the beginning to the end. What about getting a job? Make sure that you check out my next video about how to get a job after you finish Udemy courses, and also make sure that you check out my Udemy courses review videos back in 2020.